Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface, bringing you yet another World of Warcraft secret video. No, it's me. Of course. No, I've got um something pretty cool. It's one raid. We're in Siege of Ogremar right now. As you can see, right now we are where the Fallen Protectors were. They're not here because I beat the effort living crap out of them. <laughs> um, but we are actually going to explore two separate parts of the same raid. First, we're going to explore this part, the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, as you can see. And then we are going to go do Siege of Ogre Um We're in Siege of Ogremar, and then we're going to go to the actual Ogremar part and kind of explore around there. So first, best thing to do is with the Demon Hunter, just dump, double jump, and glide over. And as you can see, boom, there you go. You are now out. <laughs> So what you want to do is just mount up. And um, I'm not going to explore everything because this place is really big. I mean, I, it goes all the way down to where the Dread Waste starts over by the um, Gate of the Setting Sun. So it's pretty far. I just wanted to show a little few, just a few things here and there just to let you see. Obviously, if you have a Demon Hunter, you're more than welcome to explore it yourself. And as you can see, this is the shrine where the horde side is. And we have the doors here. Not allowing us to enter, but most likely, if I had to guess, there's probably nothing behind there anyway. Um, maybe there is, maybe there's not. But, uh, yeah. And you're probably like, okay, well, you're over here. And this is where the Siege of Ogremar entrance is. So what's it like over there? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's really not that interesting. <laughs> it's essentially what it is, just without the portal. And it's 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 pretty cool because we're going to we're in the Siege of Ogremar, going to where the Siege of Ogremar starts. So here we are at the entrance. At first, I thought there was nothing there, but there is. Just go on in here. And as you can see, nothing. No portal, no nothing. The door's still closed, but that's perfectly fine. So we're gonna head out here. We're gonna mount up. Um, really no point showing the other shrine. It's exactly the same as the horde side. Same thing, It's the doors are closed and whatnot, so let's go around this way. I don't feel like getting off and double jumping. <laughs> But, uh, alright, we're gonna go this way, and uh, as you can see, there's a nice path laid out for us. So we're gonna go ahead and go up there. We are still outside. We would normally be in there, going inside, and that's where you fight Noroshen. And, or not fight him, but uh, where you find him and you have to fight the Amalgamation, and all that great stuff. And then you would, after that, you'd fight the Shah of Pride, and then you'd be transported to uh, Durotar outside Ogremar, but we're not doing that. Plus, the portal's not in there right now. Well, it's pretty much once you take the portal, it's done. You can't get back in. Uh, you can go back in there, but you just can't portal back to Durotar. So I'll have to, like, cut away and then just run all the way back. Now, over here, it's pretty cool because as you get up close, it starts to go really dark. As you can see, it's getting darker, getting darker, getting darker. It's pretty cool. Last night I was doing it and it just got really like pitch black simply because it was nighttime. It's still the daytime, so it's not gonna get like that. But it's just cool that it gets a little darker once you're up there. And then you just keep following the path and it'll start to brighten up. See there you go. Bright skies, bright sunny skies. Not really bright and sunny, but yeah, this goes on for quite a while. <laughs> um it's crazy how much they left in considering most of this you would not see and this is where the water would be there's that little river going through here um but yeah this is it's crazy how much is still here it's like at this point i think they pretty much like oh yeah we need to cut out a portion of it for the place so let's just cut out this they don't even care how much they cut out anymore and as you can see, we are getting up to where the Gate of the Setting Sun is. Um, over here is that little uh, village that you can do that really, really fun daily with rolling down the wall. 
which one of my personal favorites. I love that quest. And this is where you would have a rare sometimes surrounded by little um, little buggy bugs. And then you would go in here and sometimes a rare would be in here too. But uh, you can see it's the start of the Dread Waste. So that's how far they... You would never see any of this from where you were. But yet they did it anyway. And then there's nothing past that. It's... You can see it on the map. <clears throat> you have that little bit right there. They just keep going and going. And then as you can see down there, it cuts off. And that's the end of the map. But yeah, it's pretty fun. You can come out here and explore it yourself. But um, in the meantime, I'm actually going to cut away. And um, I will see you back in Ogremar. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm not exactly where I need to be, but I just want to show you this because I thought this was great. All right, so we're going to jump up here. I said we're going to jump up here. There we go. Now you just run around here, and there, you are outside the little barricade right here. Mount up, and we are going to go just over here. It's pretty funny. I, I'd love seeing this. Notice something, any uh, anything peculiar about this little area? There's no, f there's there's no water. The fish are swimming around, but there's no water. Normally you would jump in and you would swim, but nope. Somehow these fish are still swimming without any water. They're magic fish. Also, going up here, and actually I. I don't know, maybe I could just continue from here, but um, I'd rather not. I just wanted to show you this. Here we go. You all know this place, but uh, it looks a little different, doesn't it? <laughs> all the troll huts are gone, everything's not here. But this is actually how you escape. You can escape, uh, I mean, it's, it's a big portion you can explore, but uh, I'm actually going to cut away again, and I'm going to be back when I get to where I'm supposed to be. So, yeah, see you guys in a bit again. Alright, we are back. Okay, as you can see, I am now on the other side of the area. The place that would generally have a um, an invisible wall. Now, for people who have been playing forever, know that this was actually on Flooded from Vanilla to uh, Wrath, and it was flooded during Cataclysm. But now you can see the unflooded version in all its glory, should you choose to go down there. Um, I believe you will be able to escape since there is an exit right over here. But um, that's actually not the most interesting part about all of this. I'm actually going to show you the most interesting thing I found when doing this. And I don't know why they did this. I don't know the purpose. If someone watching can tell me, I would love to know. But um. All right, we're over here by the harpies. Um, go over here, collect bags, and uh, kill a few harpies along the way. And um, obviously nothing is here, but it is rather interesting what you find over here. Now, if you're curious about Razor Hill, you can't get there. There is no Razor Hill. <laughs> it doesn't exist, it's cut off. But what you can find is even more interesting. All right, we're gonna turn the corner here, and look what we have here. For whatever reason, water. Water. For no reason that I can think of, let's go ahead and mount up. We, there we go. And I just, I saw this and I thought this was so peculiar. Like, why is it like this? As you can see, we're at the end of the world here. It looks like the water doesn't really go far, it's just in this area. But I thought that is the strangest thing. Why is the water here? So, if you guys know, Please let me know. You know, that'd be that'd be great. All right, we've got one more place I want to show you, but uh, 
It's going to take me a few minutes to get there. So I will be back again. So see you guys in a second. All right. So here we are. And um, I don't know exactly what place this is. I don't remember if it's Ashton Vale or whatever, but you can see there's these green orbs. They're not actually orbs. They're actually all painted onto the ground, but they are um, illuminated. Once you go down there, you can actually see that they are emitting light. So I'm guessing that they are some kind of lampposts. Uh, there's s several of them down there, actually. I would go down there, but the last time I went down there, uh, I got stuck. So... Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. But, uh, you can see, it's pretty deep. Uh, I had to climb all the way up here to do this stuff. So we're going to go see if we can actually explore a little bit more. So we'll jump and dash. Maybe get a better look of those uh, orbs on the ground without actually having to go down there. Yeah. See? They, as you can see, they're actually painted on the ground. Like, a, it's a texture of some kind. I just don't know what it's for. I'm guessing it might be some kind of light. Um, oh, my God. Get up there. There we go. Now, we're actually going to head over here to where you see the trees. Because, actually, I have not explored that part yet. Hopefully, there's plenty there. If not, then it's it's just obviously just to set the illusion that there's something there. So here we go. Our descent into what would be Ashenvale. Huh. And you can see it's just uh, just trees. Just trees. That'd be great if there was like, I don't know, a portal to something. Which I have to watch out, because uh, I might get portaled back to the beginning. Alright, so it looks like we might be in Ashenvale. <laughs> um, Chomio nice here. It's pretty barren. Actually more barren than the actual barrens some kind of cut out there. Another one of those orbs that were on the ground, as you can see, is actually part of the ground. It's like painted on. Alright, we're coming to the end. Yep, there doesn't seem to be much in here then. Looks like we're hitting the end of the, uh, the map here. Let's go a little further and see if there's anything of interest. Just another chasm. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything. Nope, we are. That we're good then. No, I don't know why I'm doing that. Obviously, something over there, possibly. Let's see if we actually can do this. Um, one, two, three, boom, boom. All right. I seriously doubt we're going to make it up there right now, but. Actually, let me cut away and then I'll get back to you when I do, if I do. So, see you in a second. Yeah, it's not working out very well. But, as you can see, it's. There's really not much here anymore. It's just all cut out landscapes like this, just hills. So yeah, that was Escaping Siege of Ogremar, both the Veil of Eternal Blossoms and the Ogremar part. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you guys can find anything else, by all means, let me know. I would love to see it. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and uh, see where you know. Tell me where you want to see me escape from next, because. Uh, I'll try it, at least if it's possible. So until then, I will see you guys next time.